What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another gun guide. This is a series where I go into great detail with all the stats of every one of the weapons in COD World War II. In today's episode, this one's going to be a little bit special. We're covering all of the pistols that are currently in the game, and we're going to be comparing them side by side to determine which is the best pistol to use. So first up, as always, let's go over some real life stats of these weapons. I'm not going to go into great detail with this, basically just going to let you know, for instance, that the P08 in this game is actually the Luger P08, which is a German pistol that fires a 9mm Luger. Next up, we have the M1911, which is actually the M1911. This is obviously an American pistol, and this fires a 45 ACP. Next up, we have the machine pistol, which is actually the Mauser C96. This one is also German, and it fires a 30 Mauser round. Finally, we have the 9mm SAP, which is the gun that you unlock when you prestige the resistance division in this game. And this is actually the Walther P38, which once again is a German pistol. Apparently, they really like German pistols with this game. And once again, this fires a 9mm Luger. Now getting into the stats for Call of Duty World War II, there's going to be a lot of information posted at once, so at any point, if you feel like you need to pause it, definitely pause it, have a look at the information, because we're going to be looking at all of these together. So for our damage profile, I'm not going to say all of the exact damage numbers, but I will let you know how many shots it's going to take to kill in core game modes. For the P08, it's going to be a 3-5 to five shot kill, it doesn't actually drop off to a 4 shot kill at all, it goes from a 3 immediately to a 5 shot kill. The M1911 is a 2, 3, or 4 shot kill, depending on the range, which we'll look at in a little bit. Machine Pistol is always going to be 4, 5, or 6 shots to kill, and the 9mm SAP follows suit with the P08, and it's going to be a 3 or 5 shot kill. Our rate of fire cap on the P08 is 428 rounds per minute. For the 1911, it's 342 rounds per minute. For the Machine Pistol, which is the only fully automatic in this list, all of the others are semi-autos, this is 722 rounds per minute. And finally, the 9mm SAP, I got a hand-tested fire rate cap of approximately 450 rounds per minute. When we bring in the time to kill values here, for the P08, it's got an okay time to kill, but it's not really all that great within its 3 shot kill range at 280 milliseconds. For the 1911, this actually has an extremely fast time to kill within its 2 shot kill range, but it's relatively short and we'll look at that in a minute here. The machine pistol has a pretty decent time to kill within its very short 4 shot kill range, but beyond that, it's pretty slow in comparison to a lot of the primary weapons out there. And then finally, the 9mm SAP has a pretty consistent time to kill at 267 milliseconds within the 3 shot kill range, which is going to be most of your gunfights. Getting into headshots, without high caliber, there's not really much to say here. There are no real situations where getting headshots is going to be helping you unless you're hitting like all of your bullets to the head, which is extremely impractical. So therefore, don't worry about headshots unless you have high caliber, in which case high caliber is always going to reduce the number of shots it takes to kill if you hit them once in the head, aside from the one exception, which is the two-shot kill potential of the 1911. High caliber will never make that a one-shot headshot, but aside from that, it's helping in every other situation with every other pistol. Now let's move on to the ranges. This is something that a lot of people have been very interested in. The Luger has a 38 meter three shot kill range, which is excellent. And then after that, like I said, it doesn't have a four shot kill range. It just drops immediately to a five shot kill. The 1911 has a relatively short two shot kill potential, but if you are within that two shot kill potential, you'll just destroy people pretty much instantly. Then from there, it has a three shot kill range that extends out to about 30 meters, and then beyond that, it's going to be four shots to kill. The machine pistol has a very, very short four shot kill range. This used to be much longer than it currently is, but it got a massive nerf a couple months back now, I believe. Then its five shot kill range extends out to 25 meters, and then beyond that, it's going to be six shots to kill. And then finally, for the 9mm SAP, it's exactly the same as the Luger in this case. It's going to be a three shot kill out to 38 meters, and then beyond that, it's going to be a five shot kill. Now a big question a lot of people have been asking me for quite some time now is what does advanced rifling do to the pistols? I've covered it for all the other guns, but I never did touch on it for the pistols. It turns out all of your damage ranges with the pistols are increased by 25% with advanced rifling. And therefore, it's actually not a terrible attachment by any means to be using on a pistol if you've got that extra attachment slot. When we get into hardcore, the P08 has an amazing one-shot kill potential out to 38 meters. The M1911 is always going to be a one-shot kill at any range. The machine pistol has an extremely short one-shot kill potential, and then it drops off to a two-shot kill at all ranges. And then finally, the 9mm SAP is once again identical to the Luger, and it has a 38 meter one-shot kill potential, which is amazing for a pistol. 
Now, since we're on ranges, there's one thing that I have to mention with the pistols here when we're comparing them, and this is your aim down sight, aim assist range. Normally, I don't mention this in gun guides because it's just standard for a weapon class, but there is one exception here, and this is the 1911. As you can see here, when you're aiming down sight, you only get aim assist out to about 15 meters with the 1911, whereas with all the other pistols in the game, it extends out to that 37 and a half meter range. This is definitely something to keep in mind for all you console players out there. The M1911 has a very noticeably shorter aim down sight, aim assist range. Getting into hip fire, nothing too crazy going on here. All of the semi-auto pistols have great hip fire, whereas the machine pistol has a wider hip fire spread, which makes absolute sense. There's really no surprises here whatsoever. Next up is idle sway. I decided to put them all side by side here so you guys can see. And as you can see, there's actually not too much idle sway with the pistols and they all appear to have the same idle sway values or at least extremely similar idle sway values. This is actually less idle sway than a lot of the SMGs in the game. Now let's quickly have a look at the recoil of each one of these. The Luger has very little recoil, even when firing at the maximum fire rate, it's not gonna bounce around much at all. The M1911 does have quite a bit of vertical recoil. It doesn't really kick side to side at all, but it will kick up very, very quickly. The machine pistol also has vertical recoil and I would classify it as like moderate vertical recoil with very little side to side sway. And finally, the 9mm SAP is very similar to the Luger, although I will say it has a little bit more recoil than the Luger does. Just looking at it all side by side, you can clearly see the P08 has the most accuracy. Coming in second would be the 9mm SAP, then the machine pistol, and then finally the M1911. Getting into our magazine capacity and our total starting ammo, as you can see, they're all pretty comparable. The machine pistol has a few more bullets, whereas the M1911 has one less bullet compared to the Luger and the 9mm SAP. With extended mags, we only add about 3 to 5 bullets to our magazine, but this does make a noticeable difference with the pistols. As for our reload add time, the Luger actually has the slowest reload time at 1.19 seconds. The M1911 as well as the machine pistol have the same reload time at 0.87 seconds. And finally, the 9mm SAP is the fastest in the category at 0.83 seconds. As for our aim down sight and sprint out time, for all of the pistols, it's all identical. They all have a 100 millisecond aim down sight as well as sprint out time. And this is where they really excel over all of the primary guns in this game. Keep in mind, the fastest sprint out and the fastest aim down sight time you have with the SMGs in this game is going to be 200 milliseconds without quick draw. Next up, our movement speed is 100% for all of the pistols and our aim down sight straight speed is 76% for all of the pistols. Keep in mind, this is faster than all of the SMGs aside from the grease gun. It actually matches the aim down sight straight speed of the grease gun. Now one final stat that's very important with the pistols in this game is the swap time. The ability to switch from a primary weapon to your secondary weapon. I did all the testing on this and it turns out that they're all identical. It depends on the primary gun that you have. Like if you have an LMG for instance it's going to be slower than if you have an SMG. But for all of these pistols, assuming you're using the exact same primary weapon, you're going to have the exact same draw time. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for all of the stats I'm going to be covering for the pistols in this game. As for which one is the best, normally I don't like picking the best. Like I usually will say, oh, well, this is best in this situation. This is best in that situation. But I'm going to tell you right now that the 9mm SAP, in my opinion, is the best pistol in this game. I personally feel that this pistol is better than some of the primary weapons in this game. I would much rather use the 9mm SAP compared to some of the SMGs in this game because it has a great time to kill. It's got that great three shot kill range. It's extremely accurate. I can pick off shots at pretty long ranges with this pistol with confidence. And I have a 100 millisecond aim down sight and sprint out time with this. I don't have to worry about sprint out time anymore. I can sprint around the map pretty much aimlessly and I can just snap on a target so quickly. And even though my time to kill isn't quite up there with some of the SMGs, when you think about aim down sight and sprint out time, you're gaining 100 milliseconds right there in a situation where you're not already aim down sight. And therefore your practical time to kill is going to be extremely fast with this gun. It's very versatile. It's great up close. It's great out to 38 meters, which is a very long range for a pistol. And in the game's current state, I see no reason whatsoever to use anything but the 9mm SAP. The only other pistol that I would ever consider using would be the M1911, and that's just for its two-shot kill potential. Having said that, that's a very niche weapon, it only really excels within that 10 meter range, anything beyond 10 meters, and you are much better off with the 9mm SAP. 
As for my recommended attachments, if I am going to be using pistols, this goes for all the pistols, definitely extended mags. This is always going to be my first choice. Having those extra few bullets might seem pretty minor, but that usually makes the difference between getting a double kill and just getting one kill and then getting yourself killed as you run out of ammo on the second guy. If I do have an extra attachment slot, I actually kind of juggle between high caliber, steady aim, or advanced rifling. High caliber, like I said, it's great on everything aside from the 1911. It reduces the number of shots it takes to kill by one as long as you're hitting one shot to the head. So with a 9mm SAP, for instance, out to 38 meters, I can shoot him once in the body, once in the head, and I'm going to get a kill. So high caliber is great, but a lot of times I find myself not wanting to aim for the head because I want to make sure I'm hitting my shots because if you miss your shots, you get punished quite a bit with these. And therefore, steady aim is great up close, so you can just hip fire rather than aiming down sight. Or advanced rifling is great, so you can extend that range a little bit. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's video. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about the pistols in this game? And what is your current favorite pistol to use? Also, keep in mind, if any pistols are added from here on out in the game, I will do a separate gun guide on that pistol. I do expect to actually see some pistols. It looks like there's going to be a Lee Enfield revolver that will be added at some point in the near future. So I'll be sure to cover that separately. But up until now, these are all the pistols we have. Also, if you guys have missed any of the previous episodes of Gun Guide, I've covered quite a few of the guns already. I will leave a link to the playlist down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.